p.m. And this weekend also kicks off the Y Mountain Daffodil Fest. The flowers are blooming ready for visitors and THV 11's photojournalist Danny Moore gives you a look at the festival if you weren't able to get there in time or it's going to continue through March 10th. Well, this happens to be the 46th year of this event, which is the Y Mountain Daffodil Festival. And the festival itself for the gathering of for the flowers started about 46 years ago, but actually about 75 years ago, they started planting the field. And they started planting the field in the orchard and started planting the bulbs and they grew and they multiplied and then they planted more and they spread them out. And now today we get to celebrate seven acres of beautiful daffodils. Over 80 varieties are here. So actually, the very first festival, which was 46 years ago, they decided to bring people to the flowers. They used to cut the flowers, pick the flowers, take them to market. Then they decided, that's a lot of work. Let's just allow people to come pick them. So they said, okay. So the first day of the first festival, the field was picked completely barren. And so they thought, we ought to do something different. So now what we allow people to do is pick on the last weekend. And not just now, but it's like for decades, people have been bringing their families out for photographs. It's great for Easter pictures because of, because of all the, the beautiful fields. So I've had people tell me, yeah, 25, 30 years ago, I brought my family out for pictures. And so we still come today. And so that's a great thing that people love to do. And they'll come dress up uh, and it's, it's it's a lovely family event. 